Hey. Gypsy Rocky. Hey, happy 4th of July, you guys. <laughs> got their little outfits on. Mommy's got her outfit on. Everybody's happy here. All right, guys, you ready? Let's do it. You ready to see the Dolly Parton show? I am. How about you guys? So you're liking it down here in Branson and all cowgirled up. Yeah, I'm ready. I am in the park. <laughs> all right, let's do it. We've got a great video for you today on how to have fun outdoors. That's right. Travel tips for Branson, Missouri. And boy, did we have a great time there in 2021. 4th of July weekend and we enjoyed it all. Fishing from checking out monster pontoons. Check out our video on this 32 footer from fishing and checking out all the great shows all over the strip including the Dolly Parton Stampede, all the cool museums and uh, lots of fun attractions and rides all throughout Branson but the fishing is remarkable too. Check out our video on big trout and our part two on bigger trout it, right there in Branson and wow did we collect some big 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 rainbow trout then we didn't stop there we hit Table Rock Lake and uh, had a great time catching those walleye and bass and boy oh boy did we clean up there lots of fun so we're gonna get started with the travel tips so please subscribe hit that like button tell us what you think about Branson Missouri if you've been there and some of your comments down below and what you liked and didn't like we also did a video on the campground so check that out but overall we're gonna get started with tip number one okay tip number one and this one is a biggie and that is book ahead that's right book ahead it doesn't matter if it's your hotel or if it's your campground or if it's your dinner show or it's your fishing charter it doesn't really matter the secret to Branson is booking ahead and I mean well in advance at least a month or two in advance to make sure that you're all set up these are some great activities uh, but there's a lot of people that book ahead so it's really important that you do so especially with the campgrounds and the hotels and the dinner shows and even the fishing charters some of these fishing charters are booked out quite in advance so that's tip number one book ahead tip number two is take advantage of a fishing trip while you're in Branson even if you're not into fishing you're gonna have a great time you're gonna see a lot and uh, quite honestly the fishing is just exceptional if you were ever gonna try fishing Branson is definitely the place to do it um, you've got all the trout fishing as you're aware near Branson below the dam where the water is super cold coming off the bottom of the lake and they've got all kinds of browns and uh, rainbow trouts and they stock hundreds of thousands of fish there it is tremendous but then in addition, you've got Table Rock Lake, which is just filled with bass and walleye, and that is outstanding. So once again, this is pretty exceptional. I mean, you go out, you catch fish, and that's what it's all about. So tip number two, book a fishing charter. So tip number three is to plan out your trip. And I know this may seem silly, but there is quite honestly so many different attractions in Branson that you can't fit them all in during the amount of period of time you have. 
So you've got everything from the aquarium on the boardwalk to the Hollywood Wax, Max, Wax Museum to the Titanic Museum to the Butterfly Palace and Rainforest Adventure to Ripley's Believe It or Not to the Veterans Memorial Museum, the Splash Country Indoor Water Park, the Branson Centennial Museum, the world's largest toy store. You've got the Branson Auto and Farm Museum, the Fritz Adventure and all kinds of other and even some really cool roller coasters the branson coaster at branson sawmill and the runaway mountain coaster and then on top of that you even have the silver dollar and amusement park and so many things to do so many dinner shows so one of the things we highly recommend for tip number three is lay out your vacation and make sure that you've got everything planned for the key things you want to do while you're there. Okay, tip number four is go ahead and look for a hotel or campground off the strip or farther away from Branson. There are some great hotels that are 15 to 30 minutes away that you know you get a lower price and quite honestly the accommodations we felt were better. In fact on the campground side of things we actually highlighted some of the campgrounds that are closer to the strip just seemed way too packed in uh, pretty much weekend type campgrounds versus when you get away from the strip uh, there's some beautiful state campgrounds private campgrounds with big sites with the classic fire pits in the woods gorgeous so definitely try to give yourself a little bit of distance from the strip drivable in but overall you're going to find much nicer campgrounds and from our point of view some nicer hotels also so tip number five is make sure you hit the dolly parton stampede that is phenomenal but also the clay cooper show both of them are a must visit but let's talk about the dolly parton stampede this thing is a lot of fun if you've got kids it's a must see and uh, it's probably one of the most popular dinner shows in the world for sure the clay cooper show is so well done it's a family affair and he is just remarkable and the music is just tremendous and we would highly highly recommend that and also try to check out some of the smaller shows they're a lot of fun in branson what you got going there Alice? some suggestion for our followers so if you guys are in branson and you have a time only for one show well this is the show that you want to watch yeah that was a great show clay cooper's yeah. and that was a great country express a lot of fun what else you got well if you have kids instead obviously you kind of miss the dolly parton stampede <laughs> that was a lot of fun also and yeah. then the legends was a great show also yeah. but if you got kids the dolly parton stampede's a must right I Absolutely. Mean, that was yeah. a lot of fun too so so many great shows here so much to do in Branson. Uh, it's yep. it's uh, the Vegas of the country, I guess, if you will. Yeah, I think we can come back here about 50 times and <laughs> we will have time to watch all of the shows with Alice. So. <laughs> Liche loves her <laughs> yeah. shows. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Tip number six is if you have the opportunity, spend your 4th of July or Memorial weekend in Branson. It is one of the most patriotic places in all of the United States. And when you're there, you feel like you are in middle America. It is fantastic. There's flags everywhere. A lot of great, uh, you know, USA stuff. And uh, we would highly recommend it. We had a blast being there for July 4th. Fireworks everywhere. Tons of little private fireworks shows. And even after we got out of the Clay Cooper show, we had fireworks out back and uh, we really enjoyed that. Opened up our Coachman Beyond uh, and enjoyed it right from our conversion Class B van. It was fantastic. In addition, we went to this little show called Legends of Country and we had a blast. It was a lot of fun. But take a listen to this speech that was given for this show on july 4th when we were at branson this is very very moving and if you're an american you'll appreciate this word i don't think we put enough thought into it during this holiday we're too busy looking at fireworks and having our barbecues and things like that 
But independence is an interesting word. I don't know if you know it or not. It means freedom. It means freedom to be the person that you want to be. It was our freedom to become the country that you see right here now today. It was people's freedom to not be enslaved by tyrants, kings and queens and hierarchy, or a force of government that you might see going on right now. Ladies and gentlemen, freedom is something that does not come free. A bunch of fellas 250 some odd years ago didn't just sit down and start writing on a piece of paper and give us those freedoms. Those freedoms were alienated to us by God himself. And we didn't gain our independence, ladies and gentlemen. We fought and we won our independence. You have to fight for your independence. Nobody will ever give you your independence. It has to be fought for. And in this great country that we're so lucky to call home, the greatest men and women that ever walked the face of the earth are the people who fought for our independence. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about the flattened men and women of our armed forces. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get the fellas to turn the lights on. And if you're here with us today, and you're an active duty member or a veteran of the armed services, we would like for you to stand up so that we can recognize you real quick. I'd like to add another group to this. If you're here today and you are the spouse, the wife or husband, or the mother or father of a son or a daughter who can't be with us here today because they're out there serving their country right now, I want you to also stand up. Because ladies and gentlemen, keep standing. These are the real heroes of the United States of America. It's because of their service and selflessness and their sacrifice throughout the years that we're able to walk around freely in this country and celebrate this holiday we're celebrating right here today. Thank you guys all so much for standing. I want you to know that it's not just a privilege here at Legends and Con Concert, but it's our honor to have each and every one of you there with us today. Woo! Folks, I want you to do me a favor. Whenever you leave here and you go home, and I don't care if you're from California on the West Coast, I don't care if you're from New York on the East Coast, I don't care if you're from right here in the Midwest, y'all do me a favor. When you get home and you're out driving around running your errands, I want you to look out that car window because I guarantee you, nowhere you're, no matter where you're at in this wonderful country, somewhere up there you're going to see a glory waving in the wind, ladies and gentlemen. The red, white, and blue. Now that banner there, it stands for something. It's not just a piece of cloth. It stands for those folks that were standing right here today. So when you see that flag next time, I want you to think of these people. It's actually them that keep it flying out there right now. But it's going to be up to each and every one of us to make sure she flies high out there tomorrow and on into the future. Tip number seven is walk the strip. It is a lot of fun, lots to see, lots of little shops, uh, and lots of little of attractions. So no question about it, walk the strip, you'll have a great time. Tip number eight is stop at the visitor centers. Lots to see, lots to learn, um, and even the visitor centers that are near with state parks and other areas, such as the Table Rock Lake uh, Visitor Center, was outstanding. It was actually very, very impressive. The lake is impressive, and they do have cruise uh, boats out on the lake, the dinner boats that you can do that are a lot of fun. So. Definitely take advantage of that. Wow, super nice. I mean, this is nicer than most museums. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, and if you can think of it as a visitor center. Yeah. Like they did an amazing job and they cover all the different topics, so like the map and then the uh, water, animals, plants, uh, like anything you can think of. Yeah, I mean, this the is... The history also of the place. Yeah, it's very impressive. I mean, really well done, for sure. 
Felice, what are you doing there? You having fun? Yes, I'm playing with sand. They've got a really cool sandbox display here and show them how it works. So, All right, so you change the topography depending on how you move the sand around. So here, for example, I just uh, uh, lowered the level of the sand and we have some mountains, the lake with a little island. But if I increase the height of the sand, here is the white area, but it's not. Wow. So we can create lakes like this. Look at here. And we can make a little island like this. Boy, I tell you, every high school in America should have one of these things. But this shows how you've got your snow melt coming in. You can have a little river going through. Super cool. And look at that. This is really a great teaching uh, display. Really cool. I see only one missing. Where is the Vulcanos? If I open, open here? Open it here, above it. Above? Spread your fingers out. Oh, like right Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. A little bit higher up. Wow. Look at that. That's awesome. Boy, that it's is cool. It's melting down. <laughs> Do you... Ooh, my hand was there. <laughs> Can you also create a Vulcano? Not with this one. No? But, wow. but if you do the latest, yeah. Open up your hand like that and start bringing, because your hand is a cloud. Oh. Wow. So you hold your hand up and it rains? That is amazing. Super cool Let's teaching do some tool. Rain here. Wow. We don't want rain. We're on vacation. We're traveling around for. Oh, everywhere is raining. Look at that. Wow, I have a superpower. <laughs> Super power. There you go, Alice. Stop the rain. It's summertime. It's summertime. We're supposed to have fun. Ooh, ooh. Look at all the water. Holy Look cow. At Look at there. We got the fishermen. Hey, fishermen. So Table Rock Lake has a bunch of cool fish. It's got walleye, the channel catfish. And one of the coolest fishes at Table Rock Lake is this prehistoric paddlefish. That's right. We're going to come back in March time frame to try to catch one of these along with some other cool spring fishing. But uh, as you can see, there's all kinds of great fishing, even bass fishing. That's right. You've got the smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, you've got the spotted bass, and the white bass. So lots of great fishing here in this area, especially on this lake. Tip number nine sounds silly, but it's not. We had a lot of fun. Grab your cowboy hats, grab your cowboy boots, make sure you put on all your fantastic Ozark gear and get out there and look like a local. We had a lot of fun doing that and made the, ex the trip extra special. Tip number 10 is check out the surrounding areas. Lots of lakes, lots of rivers, uh, great beaches, uh, lots of wildlife and nature to check out. It was a lot of fun. You can head north and see the largest pro bass shop in the world, uh, you know, just 45 minutes north. That's fantastic. There's several museums there, and uh, Johnny Miller's uh, start was in Springfield, and there's so much to do around the area. So, uh, if, you're get your, if you get down to Branson, definitely check out the surrounding areas. You'll have a great, great time. Overall, thank you so much for watching How to Have Fun Outdoors. Please subscribe, hit that like button, tell us what you like about Branson, and thank you so much for watching our channel. We really appreciate it. Tommy, what are you doing? Shh, we snuck into the damn operating room. That's right, the damn operating room. And take a look, we can control the waterfall. Tommy, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't. What a great trip in Branson, Missouri. For everyone back home, if you miss 4th of July, just come to Branson because it's 4th of July every day here. We're here at the dam and uh, this is the lake is above where you'll see a great fishing video where Aliche catches some nice bass and walleye. Yeah. And here's the river where Aliche caught some amazing trout. So if you're not in the theater, that's fine. They got great fishing, great outdoors, lots of outdoor activities, uh, tons of rides, amusement parks, you name it. 
it's just a great place to visit overall. What was your, what'd you think? Well, it was a great uh, discovery for me. I didn't know what to expect uh, and uh, actually it surprised me. Yeah, I mean, really great shows, huh? I mean, weren't they awesome? Oh, we had a great time. The last one, man, we laughed so much. I mean, it was like a craziness. Yeah, it was really good. So great, uh, great people, great area. And uh, I was surprised. Really great time here in Branson. And uh, we'll be back for sure. So thanks for watching. Uh, definitely leave your comments below. Hit the subscribe button. And thanks for watching. How to have fun outdoors. outdoors.